Dear students, the present lecture is on utilization of meat industry byproducts. Consumption of foods is a basic need of any living body, including that of human. Consuming the right food for the right nutrition is important, and for that, humans have found out several ways to procure foods from their natural sources, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. Abundance of natural foods, insufficient knowledge of processing each component, tendency to eat only readily extractable portions resulted in production of huge volume or masses of food waste in the households as well as in the industries. Traditional waste, which could actually have economic value, were started to be considered as byproducts and byproduct utilization through appropriate technological interventions became one of the key reasons to develop food technology as a subject of academia and research. Speaking about meat industry waste or byproducts, the cultural affinity of communities towards specific meat portions and constituents are not same worldwide. For example, animal blood is a delicacy in certain countries while or avoided by some. It is said that no part of an animal's body is a waste. A number of technologies have been developed and utilized to develop meat industry as a zero waste industry. Here, I shall be discussing such developments on byproduct utilization in the meat industry. Here, I am presenting the primary meat industry byproducts bones, tendons, skin the gastrointestinal tract, blood, and internal organs, or are called offal. As told earlier, although these lower-valued nutritional parts are traditionally used as foods by communities, they face a low market value and hence require value addition. The weight of these byproducts can range anywhere between 40 to 60 percent of the live animal's body, depending on the species. Although various Options are now available for valorization or utilization of the meat industry waste. The cost involved in installation and running of the process lines require special consideration. To find out a suitable mode of utilizing any byproduct to make a commercializable, edible, or non edible product, it is necessary to know its chemical composition so that the targeted application of the product can be predefined. Animal bones are rich in calcium and other minerals and also contain collagen. Collagen content is still higher in tendons which link bones with muscles. The skin of animals is mostly used to make leather articles although it is also rich in collagen and not much uh, used for nutrition content. The intestines are rich in iron and calcium besides fats and cholesterol. Animal blood is a delicacy in many countries and is rich in proteins and iron associated with the heme protein. Further, organs like liver and pancreas are rich in vitamins and minerals and the content of vitamins and minerals are many fold higher than the recommended dietary intake of each of those. Further, organ proteins are rich in uh, amino acids and they are not present in muscle proteins. So, the organ proteins in certain aspects are better than the muscle proteins. Animal bones are crushed to make bone meal powder and paste and further refined to make mineral rich DCP and BCP powder. DCP is dicalcium phosphate and BCP is bicalphose. All these are used to be added in animal and poultry feed in small proportions. However, these are not yet very popular in India, where vegetarian feed sources are abundantly used. As animal feed, meat bone meal powder and paste uh, are more popular than bone meal powder, and both of these are more popularly used as fertilizers than as food and feed. Bones and tendons are popularly used as used to extract collagen. Tendons are primarily made up of collagen. 
If not consumed, collagen can be extracted from tendons and converted to gelatin, which is a popular food ingredient used as thickener, stabilizer, binder, etc. Collagen can also be hydrolyzed to collagen peptides and used in sports supplement. Although animal intestines are used as traditional cuisines by certain communities, the fact that they are highly contaminated remains a key reason for not considering them as edible by many. Traditionally, intestines were cleaned immediately after slaughter, then uh, cleaned for the feces and adhering fats and used as food or sauces casings. In the slide, you can see the use of animal intestine as sauces casings. Natural sauces casings with intestines have been now replaced globally with more hygienic and puncture-free artificial or natural identical casings. Blood is the most important slaughterhouse byproduct. During slaughter, 3 to 5 percent of the animal's body weight is collected as blood, and this blood, uh, being highly nutritious, especially due to uh, its 18 percent protein and mineral content, and of the minerals, iron being present in high proportion, this has been made into a number of traditional products, including sausages, puddings cookies and cakes. Blood meal is a nutrition supplement for lysine and mineral deprived plants. Blood and blood serum obtained after high speed centrifugation or clarification has been also used as food emulsifier, stabilizer, clarifying agent and color enhancer in different food systems. However, high perishability of blood due to its high water content and religious ethics are Two principal reasons because of which blood is not yet a popular edible product in India. However, blood has been used for its medicinal properties and in a microbiology and pharmaceutical products. It is a popular ingredient in microbial culture media, products like glycerol phosphates, albumins, globulins, sphingomycelins, and also used in biological assays. Some other important blood components used in pharmaceutical products are bovine albumin, which is very popular. You also know the BSA. The fibrinogen and immunoglobulins and plasminogens. As mentioned previously, animal glands and organs are rich sources of vitamins and minerals. They also secrete hormones. Bile juice from liver and gallbladder contain enzymes, components which enhance digestion. Besides, heparin is an anticoagulant found in liver and it can prolong blood clotting. Pancreas contains insulin. Enzymes are extracted from almost all intestinal organs. Therefore, besides consumption as food, internal glands and organs of animals have high value in their pharmaceutical industry. In, in the pharmaceutical industry. In developed countries, it is a general practice to immediately clean and freeze the glands and organs obtained during slaughtering to be sold at high value raw materials for the pharmaceutical industry where these glands and uh, organs are used to extract the value added products like hormones, enzymes, etc. Thank you very much. This ends this class.